All right. That should be everything all nice and set up and good to go. Yeah, it looks right. Everything's looking good. Yep. All right, get rid of that bad boy. Time to post this everywhere. <laughs> All right. Two seconds, of course, just to let me <sighs> advertise as usual. Let's see. Um, over here, we just gotta dump it just like that. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I think I advertise here, so why not? Boom. All right. That should be everywhere all nice and good now. Now we can just pull up the chat. There we go. Okay. So yeah, uh, don't mind that. That's, that's me having fun right now. Uh, also, I don't know why it says Hamlet. I'm technically in a Reign of Giants world, but... Oh! Yeah. Hello! Uh, Josh. Um... Yeah, so let's start the, uh, Hamlet... Wheeler... World. Uh... Just to kinda... Lay down a basis as to, you know, what you should do for Hamlet. Specifically regarding Wheeler. See, honestly, I would have played Wagstaff for this uh, again, because I didn't really do a good job streaming him. <coughs> <coughs> or I could have played Wilba, because I still have yet to stream her. But, uh, obviously, um, because you, sir, want to learn how to uh, play Wheeler... I'll do Wheeler. And, to be fair, my Wheeler stream also did not make a lot of progress. I could have resumed that world, except for I deleted it, because I didn't really like it. So, we're just starting fresh, and I promise, if I don't end up dying today, I will continue this straight tomorrow. Like, it, it may, you know, it's going to be late, later tomorrow, after I get home from school. But tomorrow, I'm just continuing this world... Till it's to its logical conclusion. Which may or may not be, uh, deaf. Hey guys, welcome to my Don't Starve tutorial. <laughs> Today I'll be showing you how to play as the new character Wheeler for the new DLC Hamlet. Now I will say the episode is sponsored by Squarespace. No, no sponsors. I don't do anything like that at all, of course, because this is just... A hobby. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad to have you as a sponsor, Josh. Uh, so then, as my sponsor, are you going to like you know pay me because uh, I could I could use the money. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't really need it, but. Uh, all right, once we load in here, we can get ourselves started. Um, first priority, as always, is just to gather uh, grass, twigs, logs, gold, flint, rocks. I mean, iron, too, now in Hamlet. I want my content family-friendly. Well, that shouldn't be much of an issue with me. Uh, you know, I might say the crap word, oh no, uh, but... Actually, one thing I do, um, one thing I do actually do quite a lot, and it can bother some people. It doesn't bother a lot of people, but I say, like, Jesus and Jesus Christ a lot whenever I'm panicked. So, some people are bothered by that, I know. My daughter's only three, please don't say crap, she can't say, handle that. Well, too bad. Freedom of speech, this is America, other words. Also, I'm almost certain that your blimp is guaranteed to spawn immediately next to, like, you know, the fertile lands. But 
we can't go there yet. Well, I mean, we, you know, we can go anywhere we want, but it doesn't make sense to go there until I get, like, you know, some basic tools and resources first. Like, I'd like to get a spear first, so that way I can actually kill one of the pig guards and get his halberd. And also just steal whatever he's guarding. Uh... Although, since I'm Wheeler, I could just get enough ammo to shoot the pig guard to death. Uh, that still requires me to go out here and get stuff anyway, though, so it doesn't make any sense to just rush right over to them. Uh, first priority is just going to be breaking this machete, uh, because, god, I hate having the machete take up inventory space right in the early game. And pretty much its only use anyway is to just get grass immediately, because you can't pick grass with your hands. No, I'm not going to break your machete. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I do now have two flint, which means I can make a pickaxe to start mining boulders for more flint. You know, classic strategy that I always live by is make the pickaxe as your very first tool, because that's how you get more flint for more tools. Also, is that peculiar? Ah, oh, that is a peculiar claw tree. Too bad I don't have a magnifying glass. <laughs> you can break my machete, please. I haven't seen my husband in months. Ever since he left for the army, I've missed him so... So much. Well, you're just gonna have to put up with that. Uh, cause I cannot help. Uh, uh, I do plan on using dung beetle, or not dung beetle, sorry. I do plan on using the manure right now just as, uh, ammunition for the pumatic corn because, you know, why not? It's pretty, uh, pretty much all around the place and I almost never end up needing manure. Wives of military veterans are also veterans. Well, you see, I don't disagree with you there. Also, you better not kill any bugs. Well, I'll kill bugs when necessary, okay? Um, let me see. Yeah, okay, that's the map there. Also, I like the pig head, because that means I can get some nice and early pig skin. The problem with that is uh, I don't have a hammer, and I need rocks to make a hammer, and I haven't found a cave cleft yet, so I can't get rocks. Now, I think you might be able to mine the flipped over stones, but I don't do it because for some reason I think that there's an important reason to keep the flipped over stones in the world rather than actually just mining them. I don't know. I'm weird. Also, for some reason, the game seems a little framey to me. I don't know if that's coming through on the stream or not, but, like, it seems a little... Like... 30 frames per second is getting sloppy. But, whatever. Hello, Mant. Uh, I'm just looking for a cave cleft, actually. Um, you know what, let's leave this crank thing here. Because this is a pretty good marking on the map for me to just come back to if I want it. It looks fine? Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know indeed. Alright, so that's the uh, machete broken. Let's go ahead and just equip the navi gadget to free up an inventory slot. Okay, more bugs. Hello, pogs. You are both adorable and obnoxious, depending on the scenario. Okay. Now, what? I swear, running these beetles into trees is one of the most difficult tasks in Hamlet. Did Wheelie really just say it's getting dark, but I can stay up past my bedtime? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make a hammer, since I actually have enough rocks. Uh, I'm gonna put Navi Gadget and Pumatic Horn over here. I love Pugs. Yeah, dude, she's a child. I don't think of her as, like, a child, but I do... wonder, like, how old is she? She might be like a child. She looks too old, though, to be a child. She is an adult? Okay. Don't know how much I believe that, but... <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just looking for cave clefts, so let's keep walking around, I guess. 
I will prove it to you. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna look up look it up on the wiki? The wiki that knows like literally every small piece of lore about every single character in the Don't Starve franchise. I mean I do appreciate it for that. It is interesting like how Don't Starve has such a like intricate kind of lore to it, even though when you're playing the game, you hardly even notice. Oh my god, seriously, why did a demon bug have to be under that rug? I- rock, not rug. Jesus. I hate those bugs, though. Is that a peculiar? Yeah. Wow, I'm really good at spotting the peculiar, uh, objects, but... Doesn't mean anything until I can get a magnifying glass. If only I were Wagstaff. <laughs> rug. <laughs> rog. <laughs> Look, okay, don't make fun of my speech impediment. Oh, uh, come on, beetle. Just run into the tree. Thank you, good sir. Much appreciated. Alright, and then just gonna load the manure in. I'm actually like, I didn't realize you could load things into the gun without having to equip the gun until I, uh, I saw you playing, Josh, and you just kinda did it out of natural instinct. And I was like, oh yeah, that would make sense. I've never gotten a demon bug, which is rich coming from me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I... Well, trust me, the demon bugs show up a lot during humid season, because these glow flies, they go into little cocoons, and then they come out of the cocoons as demon bugs. So... Okay. As for someone that can cannot actually speak, I have room to speak about... Oh, not being able to speak. Jesus, sorry, I'm... I was reading that, and I took a punch and panicked. No, stop. Stop. Cease your pursuing! Ah, uh, please, I don't want to be hurt. What are you doing? No, no, pig guard, what are you doing? You fool, you're gonna light this whole place on fire! Oh, that's just pleasant. He's actually stupid and I hate him. Let's go ahead and move that there like that. Oh my gosh, Wheeler, why is your inventory space so small? Um, I guess food? There's only one morsel. Oh, here's another. Ooh, okay. Did not, do not like, do not like that. Excuse me, sir. That's adorable. Glowfy cocoons, yeah. Well, you think it's adorable until you realize it's actually just hellish. Um, actually, let's keep the torch on me because there's no good uh, reason not to. God. I don't know why they had to give Wheeler less HP. It might be because of her dodge, making her, you know, able to avoid attacks easier. So they were like, let's balance her out with less HP, but I don't know. She already feels pretty balanced. Also, this is... Nope, did not mean to attack. I meant to pluck. This is really lucky, because it's usually pretty difficult to trap these guys against the edge of the world, but when you can, that's like seven Pigok plumes. Oh, and... All right, that's also food, I guess. <laughs> she has more HP than I do in real life. Well, hmm, ain't that the truth? But uh, the peacock plumes are important because you need at least four of them to make a gas mask to avoid hay fever. So it's actually really nice that I already got mine. Now, because inventory space is so small, let's go ahead and drop this. Load this into the horn. Uh, we're gonna leave the peacock plumes right by our good friend pig guard over here. Just so we know how to come back to them. Here, we'll drop them right there. So we can come back to those uh, later when we've got more inventory space. But right now, I kind of want to keep everything that's currently in my inventory. <sighs> he has a name. Well... You think I bother with learning, uh, not even people's names. He's a disgusting pig. <sighs> Alright, well... Okay, excellent gamer tip, uh, number one. You can destroy Nat Mountains with a pickaxe, and it gives you a ton of rocks, flint, and iron. So, gamer tip number one right there. Oh my god, I don't have any inventory space. Time to 
You know what? Why am I even holding on to these? I can't eat them. I was going to use them as ammo, but I've got plenty of poop ammo, so. There we go. Uh, I'll document that. Okay, watch this. Boom. Boom. Goodbye, Thunderbird. For the cost of two poop, you get two meat and a feather, as well as a piece of iron. I think that's a pretty good trade. When was the last time I ate? I don't care, Wheeler. You can go. You can keep going. Ah, uh, here we go again. Easy. Doom, 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 and doom. Cool world generation. Just, you know, torment me by showing me what could have been a land bridge. I wonder, is that a completely separate island, or do I have to just walk all the way around this bit for no reason at all? Okay. Bam. Bam. That's, like, pretty much the only good thing about Wheeler, is her pumatic horn lets her cheese things like that super easily. Also, use the dodge, uh, really frequently for mobility, because it is just faster than walking. So if you just kind of spam dodge... I'm terrified. No, Nats, please. Oh, why? I didn't want this. All right, we're going to load the feathers in. Thank you. Oh, my God. Now I've got Nats on me. To be fair, I don't actually know any good ways to get rid of the Nats. <laughs> I killed my last parakeet with two poop, too. Hmm, I see. Do I need to call, uh, the animal authorities? Yes, that's what they're called. Do not ask questions. Oh my god, please. The, the jungle's not that scary, actually, to be fair. Uh, I just don't feel like going there right now. Because I don't have a lot of stuff. Welcome to Sanity Drain Island. By the way, we buried her today. You're... Your parakeet? I... Like... The one that was just in your cage? Or is this the older one that, like, died? <laughs> no, come on, I didn't want to pick those. No! Freaking demon bugs. I hate those so much. Um, poop. Okay, what can I get rid of? Why do I have two twigs? There we go. Goodbye, twigs. <gasps> Cave cleft. Hello. You're exactly what I wanted. Excuse me while I grab this guy's poop. Alright. Cave cleft. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Alright. Make a pickaxe. Drop hammer on ground. Mine. Explore. <laughs> so yeah, with these cave clefts, uh, pretty much the best source of gold around. Alright, watch this. Exploit. You just kind of switch between torch and pickaxe and you can mine this. Also, a red gem. Jesus Christ, that is very lucky. I am super grateful. Too bad I can't carry anything. Uh, we're gonna just leave the torch in here. We're gonna pick up the hammer, take the gold with us. Uh, no, come on. No, Wheeler, leave the torch in here. Just, like, move it over here. There you go. Now, exit. Exit the cave, please. There you go. Exit the cave. Thank you. Uh, I need logs now. That one that died a year ago, and I found her today... Digging for oven pizza, so I buried her. Put the gold in the Navi Gadget. <gasps> I could, except for Navi Gadget can only hold one stack of the thing, which I could just put the pickaxe in the Navi Gadget. There we go. It's finding another pickaxe. That's scaring me. <laughs> Navi Gadget can only hold one stack, so I couldn't have put all the gold in there. But I did put the pickaxe in there. I'm very grateful that you reminded me that I have a Navi Gadget. 
I also probably could just put my Pumatic Horn in the Navi Gadget, like I uh, normally do, but... Well, too late for that, I guess, because I'm just stupid. Uh, also, wood. Yes, that's what I was doing. I was doing wood. Um, I don't have light. That's cool. I'm gonna see... What, what, what is this? What is this? Ah. Fireflies. Cool. Oh, here we go. Bug. Org? Or Pog? Sorry, I swear to God, Pog, if you kill this thing, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, just follow this guy around for the night, because I don't want to make another torch. Oh, look, two of them. Org. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Guys, welcome to Star Wars. Is Porg something from Star Wars? Because, uh, I do not know anything Star Wars related. Uh, I'm also fairly hungry. Normally I don't get this hungry. Normally I eat something by now, but I have a lot of meats. So, instead of eating, uh, the meat, I, uh... You know, I want to cook the meat first. Sorry, Jesus. My brain is malfunctioning. Okay, cool, Snake. Thank you. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's leave the jungle, because I hate hell. Uh, okay. There we go. And look, if we equip the Navi Gadget, we could just punch butterflies for free. Easy food. That's the, the demon bugs that I hate so much. Okay. Axe. We're gonna just... Put this hammer down. Because I need to get me some wood. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I can't hold the wood. Of course I can't hold the wood. Drop the feathers, idiot. There you go. Eat the raw egg. Because that does not make you lose sanity, surprisingly. Eating raw eggs. No sanity loss associated. Cook these bad boys up, eat those. That's easy food. Cook up some some drumsticks. Delicious, delicious. I love it. Yes. Thank you, stomach. <laughs> I gain sanity when I eat raw eggs. Oh, wow, cool, thanks game. Oh, it, it was saving. I was like, why did you just randomly freeze up? But it, it was not random. Uh, feathers. I'll hold. I'll hold the feathers for now. Um, navy gadget. That way I can just go punch, and let the pogs eat the butterfly that I worked so hard for. I guess. Okay. What am I doing? I'm getting more gold. Yeah, I need more gold. Uh, before I want to put down the science machine because I want to rush an alchemy engine. Man. Hmm, let's leave. Um... Wow. That's kinda crappy. Oh, I need more gold. Oh. <laughs> let's see. We'll run through the jungle over here, then, and see if we can't find ourselves another cave cleft. Uh, wow! Speak of the devil. No, don't pick the flower. There you go. Enter the cave cleft, like a good girl. Oh, god. Um, plop, poink, there we go. You only need like four or something, right? Uh, you need one gold to place the science machine, and then four gold to build the alchemy engine after you place the science machine. Don't ever say good girl again. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize for being so rude. Please, thank you, Wheeler. See, the thing is, if you're holding something on your mouse, you can't leave through doors and stuff unless you use the interact key. And if you use the interact key, your character just goes and runs uh, after the nearest pickup item. Uh, 
pick up item. Wow. I am really a poet, aren't I? Okay. Put the pickaxe back in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's fun. That's fun. Thank you, game. That's exactly what I want in my life. Okay. What if I just shoot you with poop? That didn't work. Die. <laughs> Bird. Aha, I've traded meat for other form of meat. <laughs> um, cool, you can't load the Navi gadget in the Pumatic Horn. You used to be able to do that. And I was so worried that means you could have just shot it off into oblivion never to have it back. But uh, they, they removed that ability, which is good. That makes sense. That's why you aced the poetry unit in AP, right? Two Snakes is the title of my autobiography. Okay, backpack. Much needed accessory for Wheeler, thank goodness. Okay, ball peen hammer, very valuable tool. Shears, also important. Shovel, important. Uh, then we need cut stone. We need four of you. One, two, three, four. We need to make two electrical doodads. One and two. We need to make a rope for a spear, and also we're going to make two more rope for a log suit. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now let's just do some inventory organization. I'm going to put the... Okay, so I want to put my pickaxe here, axe here, double there. Uh, shoot. Where's my hammer? There's the hammer. Put that there, there, there. Easy. Uh, this is gonna be weapon, or no, this, that should be stocking cane weapon, and then light source is gonna go there, I need wood to go there, so I'm gonna put, uh, this and this here, and then I'll put the food there, easy, okay. Now we'll just dig up any, uh, stumps, and chop down some more trees, cause I just need more wood. Cool, Navi Gadget. I'm just gonna put you there, I guess. Oh, I do have a spear now, which means I could just fight this guy. Oop, I'm an idiot. I'm double an idiot. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's use Wheeler's actual trait. Okay, you know what? I'm triple an idiot. Okay, you know, hmm, I didn't like that world anyway. <laughs> let's go with that. Uh, normally, I don't die to pig guards like that, but I was like, oh, let's use Wheeler's ability because, you know, that's why Wheeler was created. God, that just shows how useless dodge is because it's just bad. I could could have just kited him normally. Hmm. Yo, oh, so that's how you play Wheeler. You die. Yeah, that's how Wheeler works. Uh, I mean, yeah. I've traded meat for other form. <laughs> I've traded meat for other form of meat is the title of my other autobiography. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, that's just funny. God, please. I just need more wood is the title of my other other bi autobiography. That one's not as funny, okay? Haha, -ha, wood joke, but I've traded meat for other form of meat. I like that. That's funny to me. Uh, sorry for being stupid. To be fair, I guess that wasn't a terrible world. I was just having an aneurysm because my inventory was full at all times. <laughs> Listen, I need meat and wood. Well, too bad. So, don't... That's not what you're supposed to do when playing Hamlet as Wheeler, okay? That's... I mean, steps one through whatever were perfectly fine until I decided to use dodge to fight the pig instead of just kiting it normally. Uh, so... Step one of how to play Wheeler. Don't use her dodge mechanic for actually dodging. Just use it to move slightly faster periodically. <laughs> uh, step, step two, 
uh, cry because her inventory is smaller. Okay, I forgot. You can just skip that dialogue. Okay, boom, Navi gadget. Actually, boom, machete. Gummy slug. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. Not flint or rocks or anything important, really. Just gummy worm. I wish there was better art for Wheeler because she's a good character. Yeah, I don't know why her character art is just really off-putting. Like, it just doesn't look quite right. Like, her legs turn into, like, blocks if you chop from the side. Watch this. Look, look at that. That's like a perfect straight uh, line right there. For her thigh. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it's her thigh. But look. See? Look at that. Back leg right there. That was questionable also. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we found a dung pie. Oh! Cool. Monkey. Awesome. Great. Love you, monkey. Please don't notice me. I'm just gonna leave now before you punch me. Fun fact, those uh those spider monkeys, um they use the same animations pretty much as the uh Borilla from the Don't Starve Together Forge event. So it's actually a neat little Easter egg, I guess. Okay, we're gonna put Navi Gadget here. Pneumatic horn. Why can't you put things in the Navi gadget uh, without equipping it? That's obnoxious. Um, Alright, then we're gonna put twigs and grass. Okay. I don't remember the forge all at all, so I will believe you. Well, yeah, trust me. Honestly, I, I kind of want forge to come back. Like, that was the best event. Although, gorge was also good. Gorge and Forge were both really fun. At least the the second time Forge came around, you know, Forge reforged as it was called, because the first Forge was just obnoxious because it wasn't balanced properly. It was just kind of like, yeah, everything sucks and you will die. Oh man, I even had Pegok plumes on that last world. I'll have to do that again. But trust me, for, for what that last world lacked in, I will make up for ten times over in this world. Just to actually properly demonstrate a Wheeler playthrough of Hamlet. <sighs> um, I think I'll keep iron in the pumatic horn. What do you mean, what do you need? The, the pith hat? No, I told you, it's for the uh, gas mask, the peacock plumes. Are for the gas mask. You know, most people have a habit whenever they start Don't Starve or Don't Starve Together or anything like that to immediately just run off and go exploring. And while exploring is not a bad idea, uh, you do need to gather materials. And so often people will come by the first night and have like maybe six twigs and six grass, and that's kind of bad because, uh, well, that's not a lot to work with. So, before day one even ends, I normally get myself a full stack of grass and a full stack of twigs. Uh, and preferably even a full stack of wood uh, before night one ends. God, too bad I can't pick the peacock. I'm just not fast enough. Okay, gnats. Those are cool and all, but I need flint. I think flint, yep, I was just about to say, I think flint can just be lying around in this biome, and it sure can. All right, boom, easy, gummy slug, insert. <laughs> Might as well just save up on inventory space. I say as I pick up useless Snyder, so. Please, Nats, just don't notice me. Thank you so much. And the Pog is going to war. Peculiar tube retreat. Interesting, all right. Quickly, mine the gnats! But yeah, see, this is a great source of rocks, flint, and iron ore. Is it iron ore? It is iron ore. I thought it was just iron, but it's iron ore. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, and don't worry about the fact that you're just completely getting rid of the gnats, because no, they just rebuild their nests in a new location. Uh, in case if for some reason you really were concerned that you might be permanently getting rid of your nets. Wow, look at that. We converted two semi-bad food sources into uh, two uh, okay food sources. That's a really good song. What song is? I don't even know what I was singing. Was I singing or are you talking about the game? Okay. Nats are cool and all, but they should be killed whenever possible. Exactly. That's my logic, at least. Uh, let's keep... I like to always try to follow the edge of the world just to get a kind of a border outline first. Then I'll explore more of the middle bits as I need to. Look at that. Just gold lying on the floor. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, and also if I see resources like this and I get distracted, I will go after these. Um, let's see, what do I load into you? Iron ore, because that's heavy. It still takes two shots to kill this guy anyway. Alright, whatever. Now, Thunder Feathers, I don't know if they have a very good use. I know you can make a lightning hat out of them, which is like a lightning rod, but just bolted onto your head. Uh... But I don't know if that's actually a good item or not, because I've never made it. I know that you can just give someone in the town feathers, and they'll pay you oinks for feathers. Also, I'm not going to be able to kill that one because of the gnats. There's, like, actually two separate swarms of gnats on it. Oh, I was humming? Oh, well. I do things a lot without my, uh, noticing. Also, jeez louise, man, where's all my flint at? Uh, I don't want to make a light source. Uh, I don't want to make one. Fine. Whatever. Oh, cool, and you show up now, huh? Alright, whatever. Dang it, where's the flint? Don't these things normally drop flint? Alright, I think there's... There is one right up here. We'll just light this tuber tree on fire for a nighttime light source. Hey look, there's some flint. There we go. Uh, don't need rocks anymore, actually. I'll take more iron, though. Wow, just rocks, huh? Alright, let's, let's keep following the edge of the world, like I said, I, uh do. Okay, let's, oh, well, once it's done saving, let's put the torch in the navi gadget. It's finding a torch somewhere. I hate putting an item into the navi gadget that's just a tool, and then the navi gadget goes, yes, I know where one of these are, and I'm just terrified because I'm like, oh god, I did not expect tools to just be in the world. Also, thank you for the food. Uh, oh yeah. You know what? Let's just store our iron in the pumatic horn, since why not? I don't have anything better to put in there. Uh, although, maybe I want to store the rocks in there. What's easier to get, iron or rocks? Well, iron is more replenishable because of these bad boys. You can just go dink, 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 and then boom, you've got yourself iron. Unlimited supply, too, because those guys don't break. <laughs> and look, here's another one, right here. Perfect. I'm not gonna worry about assembling these yet, of course, obviously. Uh, also, I just broke my pickaxe. That's fine. I didn't need it anyway. Although now I'm tempted to mine this gnat thing, but that's okay. Also, is that another one of them? Right over here, this arm? Yeah, it is. Wow, there's a lot of them in this very small area, and I appreciate that, because it's going to make my job in the future a lot easier if I go to fight them. Uh, yeah, iron is more replenishable, so... Boom. See, this is, this is, uh, how you actually play Wheeler properly. 
No one else can do that, so Wheeler's at least got that going for it. Alright, let's see. I do need to find more gold. I do have enough to just make a science machine, and then I can come back to the science machine if I want to, to make the alchemy engine. Rather than try to make both right at the same time. But I almost don't need a science machine right now. Also, two things right next to each other. Boom and boom. Easy. Oh, here's a ruin entrance. Now, normally you can't do much right away. And normally they have enemies like that, so... But you can just dip in there to check, because sometimes there's just regular old grass tufts and saplings for you. I didn't know you could mine the robots for iron. Sick. Yep, that's actually the best way to get iron, pretty much, is mining the robots. Oh, butterfly, come here. Thank you. Food. Numb. Delicious. Oh, yeah, also, Wagstaff. Uh, another thing that I forgot about him, besides his, like, tinkering and stuff... Uh, that kind of makes him a little OP, is his maximum health is actually 225, and he doesn't have a faster, uh, food drain at all. Like, I don't know why they gave him so much health, but he doesn't really have any... Like, with Warly, Warly, um, the shipwrecked character, his, his maximum food is like 250 or something. And that makes sense, because he can only, like, he only likes eating crockpot meals. And he has to have a, a varied diet with his crockpot meals, so... Giving him higher maximum hunger to kind of make up for the fact that you might not be able to eat as much... Is, is good, in my opinion. But... Uh, and for Wolfgang, obviously, he's got, like, what, 300 for his max hunger? Because, you know... The more he eats, the stronger he gets, obviously. Makes sense, makes sense, you know, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, I don't know why they did it to Wagstaff. I mean, Wagstaff loses, like, what, eight? Eight? Or three, or something? He loses a, a, an amount of HP upon eating an uncooked food, which is like, okay, I guess. Maybe you should have given him 175 hunger then. So that way he can go a little over two nights without eating, but why did you give him 225 just for, ow, I can't eat uncooked foods? Like, it's still not even that bad. I can eat uncooked foods with him just fine, and cooking foods on a campfire is not difficult. I would understand maybe if they gave him more if non-crockpot meals also made him lose HP, but it's just uncooked foods. Also, hello, Meta. Oh my goodness. Mr. Dung Beetle, please run into the tree. Thank you. Uh, I'm just picking up too many rocks. Also, I dropped my poop back there somewhere because I didn't need it, apparently. Um. Well, I'm not going to go into the civilized area yet. Because I don't have an alchemy engine. Although you can buy gold for 10 oinks a piece, so sometimes that's just the better method to it. Oh, cave cleft. How did I not notice you? There. Easy. Also, I just realized, actually, I'm an idiot because I could have made a science machine and then made a ball peen hammer and then gotten the gold from those little statues. So let's go ahead and equip this. We're gonna, we're gonna just drop the pumatic corn in here for now, because I don't need it. Let's look around, see if we can't find ourselves a rock. We did. Light the fern for temporary light source, and because ferns are useless anyway. Another red gem! I am incredibly lucky, thank the lord. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, please help. Uh, actually, sorry, didn't mean to put you in there. Boom. Alright. Nice. Okay. Uh, load those into the pumatic horn there. Um, now I need wood for a science machine. Go away, thank you. Just to wrap, evaporate it from your intestines. I forget what that is referring to. I must have just said something that I no longer remember.
but it sounds funny, so. Oh my god, dude, why did there have to be snakes here? And that's like a waste of three perfectly good iron. You just said you left your manure behind. Oh, okay. I see, I see. That's what I was talking about. And that's where your intestine comment seemingly randomly came from. That was a horrible sentence. Please, seeds, get out of the way. I'm trying to craft a campfire. Thank you. I guess I will cook and eat these. Let's go ahead and cook some meat. I think six will be good, right? That should bring me up to full. Two. Oh, hello, hippopotamus. Is that what you're called? Are you called anything special? Because normally they like to mix creatures together. Okay, bye. Never mind. So red gems are actually good in Hamlet because you can make a smelter with red gems, which lets you put four iron together to smelt one iron ingot, I think. And when you do that, uh, you can use that to create, like, some pretty good armor for defense. It's not the greatest for mobility, because the armor restricts your movement speed. But in terms of defense, it's very nice. Okay. Make a backpack first. That's always first priority. Make a shovel. Uh, equip pumatic horn and take iron out. So I can actually make... Oh, hello, fish. I guess I'll cook and eat you. Oh, hello, fudge. I'm just playing Hamlet. Uh, Alright, ball peen hammer. Need that. Need a spear. Need... Four cut stone. It's alright, I just died in a previous world. Uh, horrendously, actually. Let's, uh, let's put the Navi Gadget and the Pumatic Horn here. Then we can kind of move my inventory around to adjust to that. What day were you on? I was not very far, and the only reason I died was because I was fighting a... one of the pig guards. And I was like, let's use Wheeler's dodge ability instead of kiting them the normal way, because that's the whole reason you play this character, right? Is for her dodge ability or whatever. And that resulted in my death, because apparently dodging is really hard, and it's much easier to just kite them the normal way. So, yeah, that's fun. Uh, let's put the food up here, I guess. Ball peen hammer goes there. Um, shovel, right. Dig up these. Oh yeah, iron ore goes in the pneumatic horn, just to save inventory space. And the Navi Gadget currently has, I believe, a torch in it. We'll leave the torch in there for now. Alright, so now I just need to get enough uh, wood to make the planks for the alchemy engine. It was not day two, it was like day three, at least, I think, I hope. Actually, I don't know why I'm shooting this guy. I have a spear now, I can just do this. Yeah, that's way easier, and way less uh, costly. Spear, stay there, thank you. Let's just equip the Navi Gadget to, uh, to be a little inventory conservative, but also not have a tool in my hands, because for some reason that always bothers me. Alright, rocks. I hope this wood doesn't just fall into the water where I can't get it. Uh, yay. Oh good, you can just retrieve them. Never mind, I am not upset. I'm actually quite pleased. Navy gadget and... Jeez, why is my stuff not staying where I want it to in my inventory? Alright, can... please move, sir. You're just staring at me and that bothers me. 
Oh, I understand. You're not a hippopotamus, but you're a hippopotamus. Because you're a moose and a hippo. I get it. I get it now. Now that I've uh, taken the time to more closely evaluate the situation. Alright, so this should make only three boards, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I need more wood still. I'm looking for fully grown trees. I think this one's fully grown. Is this peculiar? That's peculiar. There we go. That's enough wood. Uh, let's just break the axe while I can, though. There we go. That's another very satisfying thing about this game that I love to do is you can kind of like the big trees chop down in 15 swings, the me medium trees chop down in 10 swings. Okay, ow. And uh, the small trees will chop down in five, and each swing is 1% on a flint axe. So, is it flint? Or just axe, I guess, because, yeah, luxury axe. So you could just kind of, like, pay attention to the durability and not use your axe on anything besides chopping, and you could perfectly break the axe. Okay, uh, alchemy engine has been crafted. I'm gonna want to make a log suit, probably. So I'm still probably gonna need more wood anyway. That's fine. Uh, trees. Let's cut down some tea trees. Peculiar? No. You're peculiar. No, neither of you are peculiar. Tea trees are nice. They give you sticks, they give you logs, and they even give you a food source in this in the uh, seeds they drop, but obviously I think it's more important to just replant them rather than eat them. Unless if you're desperate. Okay, but this world is much nicer. I don't feel like I'm having an aneurysm trying to organize my inventory. Alright, then let's see. Um, right, I need to make two rope in order to make a log suit. Yay, put that in the backpack, put the food down here, easy money. Nice. And now that I have the alchemy engine pre-crafted, is there anything else I want to make here first? No, not really. So let's make a hammer to destroy this and get some of my resources back. There we go. Uh, actually, Navi Gadget, drop the torch. Who needs that? Put the shears in there. Oh, actually, though, fun fact. Uh, this is actually kind of an important tip for Hamlet. If you have shears, you can shear these tall grass and get two grass instead of one, and it doesn't take multiple swings like a machete. You just instantly shear, and you get two grass. Which is really nice. Also, welcome back, Fudge. But yeah, look at that. Easy grass. So much better than before. Okay, good. And we do, in fact, have a little pet to follow. For the night. So, now that I kind of have everything that I could possibly want, including a pre-crafted alchemy engine, I'm going to head over to the pig village. And start making some money and buy myself a house. Aw, look at the cute little dung beetle. Where are you going, Glowfly? Now, something that would be really cool... Oh! I hear a pig guard! Oh yeah, because we already know this guy's right up here. Is he gonna burn down an entire place? Why is he using his axe? Normally at night they hold a torch. That's weird. But yeah, uh... Wheeler can't dodge the night, um... Because Wheeler can't dodge when they can't see. Or she. I don't know why I said they, as if I had to refer to Wheeler 
by a gender neutral term. I'm also just gonna like let these weevils beat up uh, Melbourne here and then kill Melbourne myself uh, when they all die. <laughs> Um, while I'm waiting, I'll chop down a tree. I'm gonna need more logs eventually anyway. Oh, I could have just made a campfire that night and cooked my drumsticks too while I was at it. Whatever. Hello, Melbourne. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna give you my drumstick. I was considering it, but... Alright, so this time we're not gonna die, because one, I'm gonna put on the log suit. And two, uh, I'm not going to use Wheeler's dodge ability because that's just obnoxious. And instead, you can just simply kite the pig guard like this. It's so much easier in my opinion, and it works with all characters, not just Wheeler. If you're a little too slow, he'll run away from you. So the timing is kind of strict in order to actually hit him, rather than have him run away. But, with some practice, bada bang, and now I don't even need this spear anymore. Look at that, easy, easy. Bada bang, yeah exactly, that's my uh, new catchphrase. Bada bang. Now, I know I said I was going to go into the pig village, which I am actually going to do right now, so... I don't know why I set that up as if I was about to disappoint. Let's... find it. Oh, thank you, saving. Oh, watch this, actually. This is pretty cool. So, if you need an easy food source... Bam. Morsel. Picos are lured in just about by just about anything left on the ground, so you can just lure them in with like a piece of food, and when they are running over to pick it up, you just smash their skulls in. Like this. Really easy. Of course, Wheeler can shoot the Picos with her pumatic horn, but why do that when you can just stab them instead? You always disappoint. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That was aggressive. My dad does that with me. Oh. <laughs> well. See, now, if you want these flowers or this grass, all you gotta do is kill Clarence. Easy. <laughs> uh, which I could do right now, but my inventory is stuffed, so I would just kind of be wasting whatever he might drop. Let's see. Is the village not... No, it's, it's over here then. If it's not over there, it must be over here. Well, here's a uh, farm, farmer land. Yes, I can speak. Don't ask questions. Uh, what is this? This is another one, but just for flowers? Okay. You can give these farm pigs grass or twigs and they will pay you one oink, but I almost always find the grass or twigs more valuable for keeping on hand rather than giving away for one oink and there are much better ways of making oinks so I almost never do it but if I'm desperate uh, that's an option for making money <sighs> all right we finally found the village which is nice that's uh, lovely pleasant wonderful all those words uh, okay Let's go ahead and take my shears out. We'll put my weapon away. Actually, we'll just put the hammer. I don't care. Go ahead and clip all these hedges. This is the fastest and easiest way to make money, by the way, is to just clip all the hedges. Because unlike literally everything else, you can just deposit all your clippings into uh, into a pig right away. I don't know why I said it like that. That makes it sound weird. You can trade your clippings away without having to wait a day in between each trade like you would with other pigs. So it's kind of stupid 
with how good it is. Okay, make some shears. Deposit. Yeah, I. The English language and I don't get along very well. Now you might be wondering, oh no, it's evening. Now I can't trade these clippings away because all the pigs have gone into their houses. Well, that's only partially true. Because you can still trade with the pigs who are sitting behind the counters. Uh, not if I break an error. <laughs> no, during evening you can enter shops. You can't enter shops during night, but during evening you can. Can I shear regular grass? I can. Regular glass, please help. Tongue. Uh, but yeah. So if you can find the, the Sterling Tro Deli, the place where you can buy cooked meals, that's where the clipping lady uh, is. She always runs that shop. There's an assigned pig for each shop. And if you can find that shop, that means you can just trade your clippings away with her during dusk. I'll help you with your tongue if you want. No, please. I do not like the uh, idea of where that is going. At least, not right now while I'm busy. Alright. Let's just keep sliding along the road. Also, I wish the dodge was cooler, like Mudspot. Okay, Mudspot has Feather Lady, actually. Yeah, you will only trade with me daily, so... Oh, here's the deli. Perfect. This is what I was looking for. Hello. No, I'm not stopping right now. My streams have always kind of stopped too short, so I'm going to make sure this one kind of lasts as long as it should. Um, I don't like the way my inventory is organized, or more specifically, I just don't like my lack of inventory space. Alright, let's go ahead and put the... No, I don't need the hammer right now, so we'll just leave the hammer in there. I need to cook my food, but I can't do it in town. Otherwise, they will just put out my campfire. I don't know why. I guess they think it's dangerous to have a fire in town, which, yeah, it kinda is, but who cares? Yeah, I wish the dodge was also more of a role, like in her, like in the Hamlet reveal trailer when she does a, a really cool role and it looks cool and it's cool and I'm going to keep saying the word cool, but in, uh, in the actual game, it's just a slide and I can kind of understand why it's a slide in case, in case somehow you get in, in, interrupted mid slide or like you slide into a wall and you don't really cover any distance like that. Uh, for a for an actual roll, it would look a little weird because you wouldn't actually be moving while rolling or like if you get interrupted during a roll, like, I don't know, you'd kind of pop up the wrong way. So I get why it's a slide if they're being practical and they're just not being stupid. But, you know, I still wish it was not just a slide. Let's go ahead and make some more money. Uh, I'm looking specifically for feather ladies, these ones, the ones in the pink. Because I don't have, oh, please stop moving. I don't have a better use for these thunder feathers. Um, I could, you can give these, these ones in the, 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 the disgusting looking ones in the weird hats, um, flowers for one oink per flower. I don't find that uh, at all very useful. And I almost always just kind of prefer leaving flowers around anyway. For butterfly spawns or glowfly spawns. The, the real two ways of making money, because there's only really two good ways to make money, are clipping hedges and selling all your clippings with the, um, the green lady. Or finding berry bushes or planting some that you can buy from the flower shop. Also, hold on, got a bit of an emergency going on here. 
All right, that was easy. And pigskin? Pig skin, yeah. You guys can have the monster meat, I don't care. But yeah, uh, the best ways are clippings for Clipping Lady or berries for Green Boy. And some sometimes you get lucky and you'll find berries out here in the farmlands fields. Uh, and you can just steal from there and you make three oinks per berry, that's why they're so good. Uh, sometimes you're not lucky and you just have to buy the bushes from the shop, and that's okay too. But those are the two real ways. Relics are worth like 10, 10 oinks per relic, but they're not really a reliable way of making money since there's only so many relics in the world, you know? Okay, I've gotten rid of all my feathers, which clears up some inventory space for sure. And I do appreciate that. Without a dob doubt. Uh, I need more money. There's no clippings to be had, and I've just traded away all my thunder feathers, which means I'm going to explore the farmlands and hope for berries. Nope, this isn't berries. These are radishes, grass, and flowers, not berries. It's gonna really suck. Any world, any hamlet world without berry bushes is kind of rough. It means that you really have to focus, like, right away on getting your own berry bushes to plant. Because it's just such a reliable source of income. Oh my goodness, are there seriously no berry bushes here? Wow, I hate this. Oh, please. No, that's the rock, dude. So, the miners here, they'll they'll accept rocks for cash, which I guess I have plenty of rocks, so... Here you go. Thank you for the money, I guess. Uh, picking up poop gives you money. You don't even need to keep it, you can just put it back down. You can't keep picking it up and putting it back down, though. That does not work. Uh... I could have left things back at my house. Uh on the ground, and they would have been fine, and I should have done that because inventory space hates me. Also, berries, yay. Um, let's just hold the meat, so that way the berries will stack easier in my inventory. And look, stealing from these pigs is not actually all that difficult, because they're just kind of stupid, so... Like, I would say they're almost more stupid than the Picos. Oh, I just dropped meat! I say that and nearly feed a Pico a meat accidentally because I wanted to do Wheeler's Dodge, which is map to right click. The same thing as dropping when your inventory is full. Oh, I just dropped meat. Don't tell me, that's another autobiography of yours. Okay, so I don't think the green, the green pigs that you can trade berries with have a store. At least not in Swinesbury, which is this starting area. So I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to trade these away and get my house. And this should be enough, right? Because 4 times 3 is 12. Yeah, that'll put me at uh, 52, 54 oinks, my bad. And with 50 oinks, you buy the house, so... Well, guess I'm just gonna have to wait. Uh, where is my house? Oh, that's not actually a bad house location. It's pretty, pretty close to the outside world, rather than being way back here. The shops are kind of spread out, and that's a little annoying, but... Not something that is gonna, you know, hurt us. Okay, I'm gonna leave that poop there, because there's no one out here to actually pay me if I pick it up. Let's get rid of this dead tree. There we go. A little bit nicer looking, at least. <laughs> okay, and the hammer's in there. Let's just do that. Oh, so this guy. Bandits? They can come after you if you have a lot of money. And then you hit them, and they run away. Uh, they, they will eventually teleport away, 
so you kind of have to be fast. But the problem is, yeah, I'm never fast enough to actually kill them. If you kill them, you get a map to their stash, where you can uh, get a lot of goodies. So it's a good idea to kill them. I just, I'm not very good at it. You can set up little traps for them. But, you know, I don't, I don't care about that stuff. I'll care maybe eventually when I learn it properly, but, you know, right now, not a high concern to learn how to trap a bandit. Uh, don't care about you bugs. Let's just collect some basic resources while I'm waiting for the next day to trade away with my pigs. Also, you can use these halberds, these weapons, as an axe to chop trees. But it's kind of just a waste of a weapon at that point. So I would not do it personally. Ugh. Hi, Pog. Also, Wheeler's voice is cool. I've said that a lot, but her voice is cool. Wagstaff's voice is really cool. Wilbur's is lame, I think. Wilbur's is like a, like a flute, I think, maybe? I don't know. The problem is, I thought both Wendy and Willow were kind of like flutes. Like, Wendy was like a piccolo or something. I don't know. So, Wilba just sounds like Wendy or Willow. Wormwood. Oh, he's got the coolest voice, though. Because I love didgeridoos. And that's his voice. And he's, of course, got the cool green font that is, uh... Uh, what is it called again? I forget what it's actually called. Like, what the font they used for him was. It's like... Something. It's like two separate words. I don't remember. Wes's voice. Oh, yeah, Wes's voice. How could anyone possibly forget Wes's voice? That's such a great voice. Also, I love how I'm just walking around with, like, a battle axe in town, and nobody cares. I mean, granted, it, it would be pretty obnoxious to play this if people cared about you holding, like, a weapon in town. Oh, hey, look, our bandit friend is back. Don't let the bandits hit you, by the way. Because if they hit you, they make you drop all of your money, and that is the worst. Please, run again, run against the edge of the world, before you disappear, preferably. Dang it, I hit him, but he still teleported away. I've done that in our town, and I was arrested, what, walk around with a weapon? Yeah, that'll happen. I don't understand, I went to school with my battle axe, and I got in trouble. Wheeler has white privilege. Wheeler's kind of tan. Like, if you look at her, she's not, like... She's not, like, stark white, uh, like, Wendy. She's pretty tan. Where's the city hall? There it is. It's right across from my house. Time to buy the house. And then we can set up our alchemy engine. Home ownership. Deed. Cool. Thank you. She's Hispanic, I'm Jewish. The Jews are more oppressed than the Hispanics. Is Wheeler Hispanic? I did not know that. That's a cool detail. Um, we're gonna put Boop somewhere. Boop there. Gonna keep the pig skin on me. Or pig skin, as it's called. Uh, red gem, I can't do much with you right now, so we're just gonna store you on the floor. Um, alchemy engine, right? Let's put you actually here in the house. And let's make a fire pit. Easy, okay. Uh, what's most important to make a luxury version of first. Nothing, I guess. I don't really need a luxury version of anything. Uh, I've received a Discord message. Excuse me while I check that. Sorry about that. Just 
Wanted to make sure it wasn't anything important. There we go. Uh, right, what am I making? What am I making? I need to make a drying rack, which just takes two charcoal. Okay, I can do that right here. Two charcoal and three rope. I need at least one drying rack, so that's that done. Uh, also need a crock pot, which is gonna take more charcoal, which means I need to go out and get charcoal, but what else do I need? I need vines, a stocking stick, a corks. I need to get the cloth from the blimp. There's a lot I need to do in a very short amount of time. Well, actually, I've got plenty of time, but, you know, whatever. More Discord notes. <laughs> oh shoot, I need to pull up the chat again. My bad. There we go. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important. Okay, so what am I doing? Let's grab the cloth from the blimp right now. And uh charcoal from here and over here. And then also vines, stocking sticks, etc. from the jungle. Stocking stick ASAP is kind of a priority. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Sometimes I just forget you can't wail on these guys, and so I'll just go in for multiple swings when you can't. Oh dude, I'm getting like optimal right now. Wow, that was probably one of my fastest kills. We'll just leave the axe here for now, so that way we can pick it up whenever we might need it. And I'll equip the Navi gadget. Look at that, easy grass. I almost always recommend killing the guys before stealing, because then you can, like, steal without worry. Nope. Nope, Pog, dang it! My my brain was slow there, apparently, because, like, I thought I clicked the butterfly wings to pick them up, but my finger did not move onto the mouse to click. So, that's a little sketchy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hello, pig, sir. Uh, you know what? I don't have a lot of oinks. Buy my grass. We're just gonna go up to the blimp and get myself that claw. I also realize that I am hungry, but that's fine because unlike most people, I am good at the game, so I will not starve. I will find food. See, look, food that I refuse to eat, but food nonetheless. More food? That's grass. That's a personal attack on me. Yeah, that's a personal attack on you, Josh. Aloe. Yum. Delicious. Fantastic. Eating that up like it's nothing. I need these peacock plumes, so if you wouldn't mind just running into a corner permanently, I would love that. No, you're not running into a corner. In fact, you are running into a dense jungle. Ooh, I hate jungle. Ooh, thank you, Dodge. Okay. Please, Peacock, Peacock, Peacock. Yes! Okay, that's one feather down. No, oh, why are you running so far away? Oh, wow. I didn't even get you stuck in a corner. I legit just got you stuck on the whatever. Also, I realized, is my view weird? Why is this, like, flat here? Things look weird. Okay. That's weird. That looks weird to me. That doesn't look right. But, peacock plumes, that's great. That means I can already make the gas mask. Well, I mean, I can't make it right now, but I've got the hardest material for the gas mask. Because in my opinion, peacock plumes are the hardest part of making a gas mask. Because just getting a peacock, peacock to like sit still long enough is somewhat difficult. 
The balloon is what gives you the cloth. Everything else is pretty much useless, except for maybe the razor, if you want that instead of clippers. But I don't, because I don't care. Ow, 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 thank you. No, actually, I didn't like that. Light, what a novel concept. We're just going to use these lightning bugs for a light source tonight. Because there are weevils up there, and I don't really want to go up there then, because those glow flies just keep dying to the weevils over and over. Aha, instead of, where's the light switch around here, uh, Wheeler should say, where's the switch version of Don't Starve Hamlet, please? That would be cool. <laughs> that was painful? I think it was funny. Also, I'm going to take two seconds here to pause and respond to a Discord ping. Alright, sorry about that. Uh... Okay. Should be good to go. We got the cloth. I kind of want to get the stocking stick before I come back. I know I'm not getting any corks, but corks are easy and can be done on their own time. Like, they don't require me to travel nearly as far as all these other materials do, and all that fun jazz and blah blah blah, words, 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 you get the point. Also, that right there, that is the poisonous jungle, or whatever, gaseous jungle, whatever you want to call it. It sucks, basically, you need a gas mask to walk through there. But that's where, uh, two special ruins are. Also, a blue gem, that is crazy my luck has been ridiculous i've gotten a red gem and a blue gem already just from caves normally you gotta like find those in ruins How did i just get a log from a there's something wrong <laughs> something doesn't feel quite right okay but you run into wall thank you poop flint rocks easy um, these smashing pots you can hammer with a hammer and they just drop things. That is a purple gem! Excuse me, what is luck? Because I have all of it. Purple gem, we're gonna... I don't know what to do. My inventory's full again, I'm having an aneurysm. Uh, whatever. We'll just... Keep it on me, I guess. I know I still need to get the stocking stick at least before I leave here. I also set out to grab charcoal. I never did that. That's low priority at this point. Okay, so you can actually tell what each ruin is for based on what's on top of the ruin. If there's nothing on top of it, there's nothing special about it. But like this one will take you to the other pig city island if you explore it enough. Uh, whoa. Uh, these guys have, like, a weird kiting pattern. I think it's just four swings and then they're dead. Also, this guy died. Hilarious. Uh, okay. God, Wheeler is such a pain. Why am I playing as Wheeler? I love having more inventory space. Oh, also, that's the, that's the, that's the thing right there. Drop. You want to eat that, buddy? No? You're not hungry? Okay. Ow! So these guys, the ones that are rooted in the ground, have a kiting pattern of one hit and then back off.
Ow! Okay. Not cool, dude. Please eat the leafy meat. Thank you. Now you're also big. Okay, well, you know what? We'll let the 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 clockwork dudes deal with that for me. Ow. Yeah, but see, back and forth with the big snap tooth piranha plants, as I call them. I don't actually remember what they're called. They're called snap tooth fly traps. Okay. And the fly trap stock is what you're after here. You can eat this though. You're hungry? This is what makes the stocking stick, which is uh, a fantastic item that everyone needs. Oh no, okay, I'm not hungry. I'm not gonna eat that radish. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> I could have dodged. I should have dodged. I could shoot him with my gun. I should shoot him with my gun. Wow, I'm hilarious. Mm, we're just gonna... Run. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of monkeys. Okay. So. We didn't exactly get all the materials I set out for. But. I'm still happy with what we did end up getting. Peacock plumes are great. The cloth is necessary. Uh, I actually need two cloth. One for the gas mask and one for the pith hat. So I'm going to need to buy the other cloth in the general store. Uh, what else? So na next I'm going to have to go out and get charcoal and... What's the other thing even called? The corks. Yeah. Charcoal and corks. Nope. Do not drop that on the ground. Okay. You know, I haven't really been using Wheeler's uh, Pumatic Horn all that much, and that's just because I'm used to playing literally anyone else who doesn't have a gun. And, uh... Well, to be honest, the gun kind of wastes whatever you put in it, so I don't really like using it. I'll only use it on things that literally can't be hit without a gun. Which I think makes sense. That's fair. Don't starve gun edition. Yeah. Also, I've always put my drying racks outside of the house, but what if I just, like, put them in the house? Uh... Drop the bat, I guess. Purple gem. Uh, we're actually gonna put purple gem here, and we're gonna put blue gem there. And we can actually make a magnifying glass with the blue gem, I think. Uh, pith hat. Can we make pith hat? We can just make gas mask. Okay. Gas mask. Makes you lose sanity, but keeps you from sneezing during hay season, so. Uh, let's just move it, uh, down, up, down, down, up, around, all around, wherever you wanna put it. Um, actually, I kind of want to just put it over here. There we go. Now, you might be wondering, why am I going to do that? Well, because I'm going to shelf these other items. There we go. And now you might be wondering, why am I doing that? Well, because I'm going to make the regal versions of all them. Also, why am I not making a machete? Well, simply because I think the machete is pretty much useless, so... Manure. Please place the manure. Thank you. Uh, what do I not need? Okay, stocking stick. Yes. Uh, food. Drying rack. Please stop equipping the gas mask, Wheeler. Also, this entire time, completely forgot. Make football helmets. Wow, I went that long without a football helmet, like an actual moron. Wow, and I, I call myself a Don't Starve Pro. No, I don't. I don't call myself a Don't Starve Pro. I mean, Don't Starve... Okay. Yes, that was the best term I could think of for a replacement to Pro. 
Yeah, I don't know why I always put these drying racks outside. I can just put them right in here. So dry that and you'll get yourself a nice little piece of whatever when it's ready. Not a casual per se. Well, yeah, I guess I'm a casual. I don't know. I don't like the term casual because it makes me feel like I'm bad at the game, which I am not. I am much better than a lot of people at Don't Starve, but I'm also not nearly as good as you could possibly be. I don't super efficiently farm everything, I don't make mega bases and last till day 500. Although most of the time, my short-lived worlds aren't because of death, but rather because of boredom, so... A mediocre at Don't Starve. Yep, that's the one. Also, I am starving like I said I wouldn't, but uh, that's because the deli is all the way over here. Please just buy food. Ah, yum. <laughs> okay, meatballs. Can't buy you because I am poor, so I'm going to buy stuffed eggplant. Dragon pie is 30 oinks. That is a little ridiculous. Okay, well, that should hold me off for now. I love how I'm talking about how I'm not bad like a casual as I'm starving to death. As Wheeler, the character who can literally just shoot a bird and make food. <laughs> Granted, it'd be really bad if I was playing as Wormwood, because, you know, he literally just grows food everywhere, like, out of his rear end. What does it make to take... Ooh, what does it take to make a magnifying glass? Oh my god, I le I literally can make that. I'm not okay. I'm having a brain, tumor, seizure, stroke, all in one. Call it whatever you want. Now I have an even fuller inventory. This is just amazing. Oh, put the... I hate all of this. Flint, stay here. I don't need you at all times. Okay. Better. Not fantastic, but better. Drop the purple gem. Drop the purple gem. Okay, she will not drop the purple gem because there are pieces of flint in the way. Please drop, thank you. Why does that look so wrong? Just drop it right here. Thank you. Well, it still looks wrong, but... We'll deal with it. Oh yeah, why am I taking the red gem with me? I'm an idiot. I'm wasting so much time. Let's just, let's go. Uh, what's the next priority? Actually, next priority, I'm going to work on farming. I know it sounds strange. Also, I literally just dumped all the flint when I need it to make a pitchfork. But I'm going to work on farming so I can have a steadier flow of money coming in through more berry bushes. Also, normally you want to have a lot of drying racks for a lot of different meat and stuff, but because this is Hamlet, really one drying rack will suffice and you only want to use it just to get your stocking canes and that's about it. God, though, why are there so many different tools that you need in Hamlet? It hurts for almost every character, but it hurts especially bad for Wheeler. Now, I don't know when the BFB is going to come for me, so I'm just going to, like, hurry up, I guess? I don't know. Because I do want to be taken from by the BFB right away, so that way I can get the stone egg, which is like Chester for this world. Um, I can have a slightly bigger yard if I feel like it. Yeah, let's go slightly bigger. There, there's, there's room back here. I'm just getting rid of this turf, the BFB. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 the BFB. He's a, he's a... He's a darling, for sure. Uh, you'll see him when it happens. I'm not gonna spoil that surprise right away. That's that's a fun one. I'm not gonna work on farming, because first, actually, I'm going to get... Get the piff hat, which means I need to get vines, I think. Oh my god, my head hurts from thinking. 
I need, for Piff Hat, I need three vines, six corks, and a cloth. I don't even have the cloth. Okay. Need that soon, because humid season starts on, like, day 11. So, let's get to it. Chop, chop. When was the last time you ate? I do not know, Wheeler. And nor do I really care. I need to spend, like, a day just farming butterflies from the flowers. Just so I can have plenty of food. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, I can do peculiar stuff. Like this. Check this out. Investigate. Aha! Found something. Okay, so now if you chop down something after you've investigated it, and then you dig it up, boom! You get a trinket. A random trinket. Um... Sometimes you can get relics, which are more useful than trinkets, because trinkets can only be traded away to a certain type of pig, which is not on this island, and is instead on the other island with the, you know, the pig over the ruins entrance, you know, that kind of deal. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I need to keep the iron on me at all times. I might not, which means I can put something else in the pumatic horn, like the rocks. I don't even, to be fair, I don't even know how how badly I need to keep rocks on me. I always just do anyway, no matter what, when I play Don't Starve. But when I'm playing as Wheeler, I kind of need to rethink everything's value because I'm working with such a small inventory space. Also, Aloe is a great source of healing. And why do I have Flint on me? The world may never know. Alright, uh, I think there might be charcoal right up there, who knows. Oh yeah, because that's like the little blasted area, so there's probably charcoal up here. Probably. Hopefully. Yeah, there's some charcoal. And some burnt trees. Alright, let's hopefully chill with these glow flies uh, during the night. I hope this, this pog's gonna assassinate all of them. Wow. There sure are a lot. Tonight. <laughs> they spawn from the exotic flowers, by the way, if you couldn't tell. So picking exotic flowers means less glow flies, and less glow flies means less demon bugs when humid season comes around. But I still like to leave flowers anyway, because I'm just that kind of person. <sighs> I don't remember, does Wagstaff have the normal 200 sanity, or is his lower for some reason? I almost feel like his might be lower. But I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for peculiar objects now, because, you know, I want, uh, to get relics for money and all that other stuff. And I know I just said I was gonna work on a farm, but I really do need the pith hat before anything else. So, unfortunately, I ended up coming out here anyway, even though I really wanted to work on the farm, because I am worried about starving, actually. Because food doesn't keep growing out here. Once you've eaten all the food out here, all the food out here is gone, and you just need to buy from town in order to keep sustaining yourself. Or kill things for meat. Those will respawn. Creatures like to respawn for meat. I could shoot birds. Don't know why I'm not shooting birds if I'm that desperately hungry, but I would have to cook it on a campfire anyway. So, I don't know. How much iron do I have? Not a lot. Let's get some more iron. Be careful when dealing with these guys. You don't want to run away in a straight line. That's pretty much the only thing that they can get you with. Is if you run away in a straight line, they can shoot you with their laser. It's got long range. But just 
like run away in a circle, they won't hit you. That's pretty much all there is to them. And then you just mine him again when he turns off and get some more iron. Socket that right in this bad boy. There are a lot of glow flies. Like, they are just endlessly reproducing. Must really be prepping for humid season, huh? Oh, hello, other Iron Hulk. Guess I'll mine you for iron as well. Uh, these ones are easier to deal with because they just hop. The hop is super easy to avoid. Alright, so I can't really pick up this iron. Hey, look at that. And look, they even decided to combine for me. That's 24 iron, that's decent. But yeah, I don't know if I need to keep iron on me, or rocks. Well, I know the iron can make she shears and a ball pin hammer, ball peen hammer, which are both important. But, oh, uh, but, like, I can just make some more back at next time I go back to my base if they break, rather than keeping the iron on me and keeping an inventory space wasted. Uh, same with the rocks, because the rocks make the hammer. That's pretty much the only reason why I ever keep rocks on me is because hammer, in case if I need hammer, but I'll just make a hammer next time I go back to base if the hammer ever breaks on me. I know sometimes that can lead to really unfortunate circumstances, but that's just going to have to be the way things are with Wheeler. If I was playing anyone else, I could keep this stuff on me, probably, and be just fine, but... You know, that's how it be. Okay, time to equip everything. It really looks like you're taking a lot more damage than you actually are when you play as Wheeler because how low her max HP is. Like, funnily enough, Wheeler's max HP is less than, uh, Mac- not Maxwell, sorry, jeez, I'm- Almost stupid. It's less than Wes's. Wes's max HP is 113, and hers is only 100. Really kind of puts things in perspective as to why Wheeler is so bad. I don't need those peacock plumes. Why am I going after them? I do need more cork. Actually, I probably don't need more cork, but I'm going to get more cork anyway, just so that way I don't ever need more cork in the future. Wheeler may be your friend, but that does not mean anything to the community of Don't Starve players who have realized how terrible she is. Look, I thought she was cool when I first played her. I really wanted to give her a try. I was kind of in the mood to play her, but, like, honestly, playing her is misery. Why is this peculiar? It doesn't stand out. It has maybe a slight bluish tint, but we'll investigate. Well, nothing. Sometimes your investigations can fail just like that, by the way. In case if it wasn't very obvious from, you know, me failing that investigation. Uh, but yeah, uh, if, if you do play Whaler a lot, feel free to use her gun a lot more than I do, like if you don't feel safe fighting things melee style like I do, and you've got the ammo to spend, like if you just have a bunch of poop in your inventory, or I guess I have way too much charcoal, you can just feel free to fire that off at all your foes rather than, uh, oh, corks only stack up to 20, okay. Rather than uh, fight them hand to hand, and it will save you some HP. I guess that's also why they reduced your HP, because you don't really have to fight hand to hand like everyone else does. So yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Still bothers me, but whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. <sighs> I 
Now, I've never really considered playing Hamlet with a non-Hamlet character, or playing Hamlet characters outside of Hamlet, except for Wagstaff, because technically he was kind of just made for the base game and not really made for Hamlet. It's because, like, you know, when Hamlet came out, he just came for... He, uh... He came with anyone who just owned the base game, basically. I wanna see... Let's see. Campfire. Bam. Easy light. I mean, it costs wood, but... Where else are you gonna get gold like this? Also, you can mine these, uh, unimportant rock pillars. I do it a lot, but I also don't suggest it. And I'm not doing it with Wheeler, because she's a bit more fragile, I guess. But if you mine these bad boys, you cause a cave-in. Which can drop some valuable materials, or it can just drop enemies right onto your head. Ow! It can also just drop pure pain onto your head. Ooh, yeah. You know what? We can just leave now. Light bulb, important. But you need two light bulbs to make a thing. I don't even know what they're called anymore. The things. The lantern, yeah. Lantern is valuable for ruins exploration because you can't see in the ruins, obviously, because there's multiple rooms to a ruin. Which means you're going to need a light source, and torches are just a bad way to do it. It's such a waste of materials and everything. Lantern is truly the way to go. But also because you can place a lantern on the ground and then equip something else while still getting light from it. Uh, getting the light bulbs in Hamlet can be somewhat tricky, though, because I know things that drop them. It's just... Uh, they have a low chance of dropping, I guess. I'm just going around doing border patrol for more map exploration, by the way. Load. Keep loading this stuff into my pumatic horn. Oh, horn. Oh, did not mean to shoot you, bird. I'm so sorry. I just hold, held the control F. Or, I guess for most people, that would be control space, since that's the default attack key. I just switched uh, F and space around because I think it feels more comfortable that way. I know, I'm a weirdo. Did not mean to shoot the bird. Jesus, I'm on a murdering spree. Uh, you, yeah, you changed the controls too, because I recommended it to you, because it's way easier to attack with F than it is with space. Because with space, it's hard to move to kite and also attack at the same time, whereas with F, it's incredibly easy to... Sorry, no, F... Jesus, sorry. F is normally the attack key, but I have F as my harvest key and space is my attack key. Because it's a lot easier to attack and kite enemies, like dodge them, if you use space to attack them. Because uh, then all of your fingers are still free on WAS and D. Uh, that's a wishing well. You can put gold and different forms of money in there for higher chances of winning. And when you win from a wishing well, you just get healed. So... I just threw the gold in there to save inventory space. Uh, but yeah. The... F is normally your attack key, but I switched F to interact, and I have space as attack because, you know, what I literally just said, and I'm repeating myself because I'm bad with words and get lost track. Get lost track? Hmm... I think my brain is broken. Tea tree, tea tree. Peculiar tea tree. Let's see if we can win something from you. And that's another one up there, I think. Aha, I found something. Got it. Mining away. Mining away. <laughs> oh. 
I hate myself, don't worry. Dang it, I let the Pico get away! No! Aha! I did not let the Pico get away. I also just went on a slaughtering spree. I killed a Pog. Don't laugh at that, case in point. Oh, uh, my bad. I'm I'm kind of bad at reading the chat because I'm not used to people actually talking in the chat, so... I know, self-burn. No, hey, you, stop! God, help, my brain is dumb. Thank you. Please don't steal my relic. Goodbye, Pog. Did I investigate you? Okay, well, maybe I investigated you twice now, like an actual moron, but... Oh good, this one's gonna drop a little Pico when I chop it down. Nope, nope, come back here. I'm not gonna let you get away. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Try stealing from me again. See what happens. What? That Pico literally came from a stump. And it was gonna climb back up a stump. Where's my shovel? My inventory is all co 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 <laughs> My inventory is all kinds of messed up. And so is my brain, but we don't we don't question that. We just kinda accept that. <laughs> Actual aneurysm. Indeed. <laughs> I literally just went like <laughs> mm. Alright, where's the Alright. Let's go find the proper store to sell this relic in now that I examined the peculiar tree and whatnot. So yeah, that right there, that's the peculiar stuff works. You get a magnifying glass, you do thing, you you get money, you have money now. Money, 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 money. Uh Right, let's just keep moving. What's in here? My Navi gadget is full of surprises. Cloth. I never bought the cloth. Let's go find it. Let's hope that he's selling it right away, because I know you can get pretty unlucky and not get a cloth. No cloth. Cool, 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 cool. cool. We'll buy a machete, I guess. Lack of vine oinks. Oh, I left my oinks at home. All right, whatever. We'll come back tomorrow. He'll refresh some of his stock by then. Uh, until then, let's put food on the ground because I don't need that. Stockings stick. Yes. Okay, finally, my increased movement speed has arrived. Don't need this. Don't need this on me at all times. Don't even really need the shears on me at all times. I will drop those off. Uh, let's put actually this in here. I think that's better. And we can put the log suit up here, yeah. Let's drop these corks here. How do you make a smelter? Four boards, six cut stone. Yeesh, that's expensive. A uh, crock pot. Oh yeah, we can make a crock pot. Let's do that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I thought like I ran out of rocks, and I was like, no, I know I had rocks two seconds earlier. So, boom! Look at that. Food, 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 food. Yummy. Okay, don't need these. Gonna leave the shears out there. Don't need this on me at all times, this charcoal. I don't know why I even got charcoal. Was it just for the crock pot? I bet you it was for the crock pot. 
There we go. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Boop. Food. Drop that on the ground. Time to get outside and do some business with some pigs. Now these guys with hammers will take refined things, such as rope. So if you've got plenty of extra grass, money. Uh, let's just keep running around and see who I can and cannot find. You. Money. Hello, you. Money. Boop. More money. More money. Uh, Feather Lady. Please, give, give Feather. Thank you. More money. Boop. More money. Oh, good. It's raining. Uh, hello, good sir. Would you like a rope? More money. Poop. More money. No one cared about that poop, huh? The community was just okay with leaving that poop on the ground. Alright, then. More money. That's getting a little obnoxious. I think I'm gonna stop saying more money. Okay. I might have passed a couple of feather people already because my brain is not fully functional right now. And that is not to suggest that I am on any sort of drug. Far from it, in fact. My good sirs. You want rope? Come back on the morrow. <gasps> Feather lady, I'm almost positive I missed you. Thank you. And who runs this flower shop? Oh, of course, yeah. Flower lady runs flower shop. And who runs the mud spa? That's Feather lady. Feather lady runs the mud spa. There's poop over here. Sorry. Sorry, when there's 80 million things on your mind, you know. Your lizard brain just tries to keep up. Wow. Give her a feather. Coffee beans. Now, I think if you get four coffee beans and you put them in a crock pot, you can just make coffee and coffee will make you fast. You. Did I give you one? I did. Okay. You. Did I give you a rope? Okay, I did. Oh. Slice. Sliced and diced. As Dice's famous catchphrase goes. Dice from, from Lethal League, by the way. for the one person in chat who actually knew what dice was anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, nope, don't sell those yet, because you've got plenty of more edges to clip. I do know who dice is. Yeah, of course you do. Because I force it down your throat and everyone who I know. All their throats. All their throats have lethally forced down them. I'm gonna just stop talking. Please, no, buy my rope. Buy my rope! Nobody wants to buy my rope. That makes me sad. Okay, I'll just put the rope on the ground. Put the rope on the ground. Put the rope on the ground. Panic! Punch him. Uh, no, 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 no. He's gonna extinguish me. He's gonna start running. Uh... Oh, you're just gonna run again. I thought you were gonna come and punch me. No? Okay. I can keep chasing you, buddy. 
I think. No, nope. go past him. Yeah! All right, bandit stash map. X marks the spot right on over there, baby. That's a highlight right there. That's an exciting moment. I'm gonna just break this real quick and get myself some more grass. Uh, actually, we have a stocking stick for a reason. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so much faster now. All right, dig this bad boy up. You get yourself two pea, two complimentary peacock plumes. Another ten-piece oink. That's nice. Eat some jerky. And these things are just food that can be opened later. I'm gonna leave that there for now because I don't have inventory space. Go figure. Also, I believe, uh, what's her face? Wheeler's slide, her dodge, gets faster the faster her movement speed is. So. When you really, when you spam it with something like the stocking stick, you can really get some distance out of it. Uh, let's enter the slanty shanty and we'll put some manure right in there. Okay, we're actually gonna put this out here. Um, no, I don't need the crock pot. We're gonna put the swooshy hat up here. Mm. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, right. I wanted to buy cloth, but I never did because I'm dumb. Oh, well, there was a poop pin behind that house. All right. Well, while I wait for day, I might as well wait indoors where it's at least not hell on earth. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> I kind of want to stop playing. Because I'm not having the most fun. I'm not going to lie. But. I will keep playing for the greater good of the people. Because I promise to make more progress than my last Wheeler stream. And dang it, that's what I will do. It's not like I have anything better to do tonight anyway. I, uh, would otherwise just be sitting around doing nothing. Anyway. Wow, always thinking of your fans. Not exactly, but... Who runs this store? Oh, also Clipping Lady. Okay. I'm afraid that I'm going to accidentally hit her with this battle axe, and thus I should not have it equipped while trading with her, but it's too late. I'm already committed. Okay, I have a lot of money. Ooh, uh, did not mean to make a joke like that, but um, why can you buy a flint? That's silly. Buy shovel. Buy pickaxe, I guess. Cloth! Yes. Jackpot. Alright, leaving. It's very wet right now. Ow! Lightning! Okay. Hmm. Oh, I actually wanted to try and make some coffee because I've never done that before. And with Wheeler already having the increased movement speed that she does, punishment for saying that it was wet, uh, I would be really interested to see how fast Wheeler can get. More coffee beans. I believe it takes three coffee beans and one sweetener or just straight up four coffee beans. Okay, anti-venom is going to be useful eventually. Honey politics will be useful eventually. Coffee beans, yes, thank you. Uh, what do I not need? Just drop the anti-venom on the floor, I guess. Okay. So. I have... This is not my house. Where is my house? Up there. 
I have four coffee beans, and I want to put them all in a crock pot and see if it makes coffee. Is that a crime? Maybe. I'm just saying words at this point. I mean, that's all I ever do, to be fair, is just say words, but especially right now, I'm just saying words. Coffee, 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 coffee. Everything you do is a crime against humanity. Uh, uh, wow. That did not make coffee. It made a fistful of jam. Cool. Thanks. Game. Forks. <gasps> I never got the vines for the pith hat. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, 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 no. Initiate panic mode. Okay, take the meatballs with you because you're going to need food eventually. Oh no, and it's almost humid season. In fact, I'm surprised it isn't already humid season. In fact, it probably is already humid season and fog just has not struck me yet. Okay, I'm going to need this, sir. Uh, where's the closest jungle? Mmm, there's not even a jungle over there, so it's straight up, pretty much. Yep. Let's go get some vines. Now, believe it or not, vines do not drop vines. It's actually the snap tooth fly traps that drop vines. Also, peculiar tea tree, but no time, no time. Might as well let it grow to a bigger p peculiar tea tree first anyway, get more wood and stuff out of it. Why am I going this way? This is not the proper way. Oh, see, these are the things right here. Did my phone just fall on the floor? Where's my phone? Nope, my phone did not fall on the floor. These are the... Oh, yep, they're hatching. They're hatching. Demon bugs. All right, leave. Goodbye. Please, just mind this. Oh, fine. I'll leave this cave cleft for now. Also, while it's wet, these nettles grow into metal things and other stuff. I don't know. Saying words. Okay, uh, we're gonna probably have to help out the snap tooth plants. No, actually, we don't. We don't. Oh, no, I hate this. Hey, they can't get me in here. That was hectic. Oh, my pumatic corn is empty. I could have been putting things in it this whole time. What do I put in it? Logs? Sure. Let's put logs in the pumatic corn. Which means I can just move this all the way up and look at that. Wheeler has a fairly clean inventory. Granted, at the possible cost of literally her entire life. Hello, bad. Big skin. I know I heard the breathing in here. I just like. I don't know. Alright. Wonder what it's like out on the surface right now. Ah! Staying indoors, please. I'm literally using nothing about Wheeler that's special to her. I'm not using her Navigator, I'm not using her Pumatic Horn, and I'm not using her Dodge. Literally the only point in me playing her right now is this slightly increased movement speed. Look at that.
just peacefully mining away at the structural integrity of this cave. Ow. Ow. Oh. Ow. Nice. Now, I really don't want to exit the cave and get just utterly destroyed again. Did you hear that? Like three times in a row I got like the same examination noise and it was really weird. Okay, time to put some more fuel on the fire. The danger with putting my logs in there is I won't be able to craft emergency campfires and stuff. That's okay though. We'll go ahead and just... Ow! Why? Why is existence just pain? Okay. Come on. Come on, guys. Back up! Hello! I require backup! Yeah! Yeah, hello, spider monkeys. Help me out here. I literally require everyone's combined efforts for this. Oh, this ruin, th that thing on top right there, the little artichoke looking thing means, ah, it's to the Pugalisk, which is a boss, which gives you the magic water from the Fountain of Youth. Oh, light bulbs, please. I will take any and all forms of light bulbs. Thank you. Oh, that's a light bulb right there, baby. Ow, I just got punched by a gorilla. Or a spider monkey, sorry. Yep, spider monkey. Okay, it's only one of you. I can take you. Let's go ahead and get my good old ball peen hammer out here. Tink, 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 tink. Yep. Oh, just like that. Oh, hold on. Sorry. You gotta put this away. Hmm. I'll pick up all this chitin since. Well. There's no point in leaving it just lying here on the ground, is there? Also, two light bulbs is fan flippin' tastic. Because that means I can make a lantern. I came out here just to make a pifet, and I ended up coming home with a lot more uh, useful stuff. I can even bring some extra light bulbs home. Also, hello, Mantill. You can actually go around and walk around in these. You can go from Mantill Chamber to Mantill Chamber. They're not the friendliest guests. I will say that. Well, I'm the guest, actually. This is their home. I can even enter here. Look at that. You do kind of need a light source in order to explore the place well. I'm just gonna whoop. skedaddle. Wonder what? Nope, that's just a bone shard. Don't really need that in Hamlet. Not unless if you're Wormwood, which I'm not. So let's return home with our spoils. Also, only a single bat for this bat attack. That is surprising. Oh look! Also, Stalking Stick does not lose durability based on damage, it just loses durability based on walking, so I can just punch butterflies all day with this thing if I want. Eat, eat the meatballs, get those out of your inventory, please.
Also, Kitan only stacks up to 10. Isn't that a little obnoxious? Of course, Hamlet just has to make everything as difficult as possible on your inventory for a character whose inventory is already ridiculously impossible. I need to look up actually how to properly make coffee because apparently four coffee beans does not make coffee. Either that or maybe it was like a 50-50 chance to make coffee and I just got unlucky and did not get the coffee. I don't know. I think I know. I also don't even apparently know where I live because I lost where my house was. Why am I not just trading in these relics first though? Okay. And away we go. <sighs> oh no, I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded, a little dizzy. I don't know why, I don't normally get lightheaded and dizzy, but I'm doing it right now. It's happening to me. And it's not very pleasant, I can tell you that for sure. I do not feel good at all right now. I feel the opposite of good, which is bad. FYI, I don't know if you knew that. Let's just eat a drumstick right now, I guess, and then we'll cook these four into some lovely meatballs. Thank you, Manure, for being you. Make ourselves a piff hat. We're gonna need this, like, right now, so... Might as well just keep it on me, I guess. Uh, make... Make a... Mant mask. And mant suit. Hey, look, I can cosplay as the full-on Mant. Hey, Josh, if you're still there watching in chat, I got the full Mant suit on with Wheeler. Right now. It even makes little chirping noises when I walk. Uh... Vines. Forks, I guess. Wow, I have a lot of money. Oh, Mant suit loses durability just by walking around, I guess. Ain't that interesting. Alright, but I've got a relatively clean inventory. Let's take a look here at friends on Discord. Apparently I've got a pending friend request. Oh, it's Fudge, who stopped by to watch the stream earlier. Thank you, Fudge. Uh, might as well just send some messages while we wait for day. I can't even tell if anyone's still here. That's okay. I'll, uh, farm now, I guess. Oh, hello, Josh. You are still here. Oh, lovely. A flower decided to grow for no reason. I found that in Don't Starve, flowers just decide to appear out of nowhere whenever they feel like it. Which I'm not necessarily complaining, but I am just saying it's a little weird. 
All right, let's grab some of this grass because I am making a lot. Okay. Drop this, we'll dig up one, two, three, four, and five right there. All easy as that. And then we can plant these right in the ground. Have no worries. There's no worries. Oh no, I'm not gonna start singing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get all this stuff all gathered up there. Plant this ground all back. Oh, where, oh, where am I gonna get my other? road from up here it looks like it looks like I can oh I'm so tired let's walk a little faster up here please wheeler and thank you I'm not paying you to sit around and do nothing then again I'm not paying you at all you are not even real Haha, uh, aren't I so funny, random? I'm talking to a video game character. Isn't that cool? Aren't I hilarious? Please say I'm hilarious. Please. I require... a confirmation? Or... I've... Six, seven. F affirmation. Thank you. That's the word. That's the one. That's the one. That's most certainly the one. That's the one. That's the one I was trying to remember, but I couldn't quite remember. Uh, also, these birch nut trees, you can... Chop for wood, but there's other trees out in the world, so... I don't know why you'd chop them. Plus, when you chop them, everyone in town goes, Oh, you're stealing, and you're just like... But, I, d d d uh, but they don't care, because... Oh, we love our birch nut trees, totally. Oh. So... You can cut them down, just cut them down at your own risk. <laughs> Maybe if I farmed butterflies enough and got a butter to drop and then put the butter in with three coffee beans, I'd be able to do whatever I needed to do, but whatever. I don't care. Okay. Place ground. Now look at this. Isn't this a lovely little yard? It's beautiful. Please. Place. Ground. I'm really surprised because I'm almost positive there's supposed to be fog by now. For humid season, but there isn't, and... It's weird? I didn't make a pith hat for nothing game, like... Come on. Alright, I'm gonna dig up these grass tufts. I'm gonna move these bad boys over here. Okay. Then we'll just plant like that. Put that there, 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 okay, we're good, look at that, easy. 
Why is the poop in the house? We can put the poop outside the house. You know what we can't put outside the house? Money on the ground. Why would you just leave money, perfectly good money at that, lying on the ground outside your house? Okay, so now we have farmable land and we have eight poop to do so. So let's grab ourselves eight berry bushes from the store. That might take a lot of money. So I'm going to bring all of my oinks uh where's the flower shop it's over here uh right 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 miss so's floral arrangements okay no oh my god that cost a lot of oinks just for a dragon fruit seed and i just ate it like an actual ape Okay, buy anything that costs one oink, please, like corn. Berry bush, thank you. And more corn, because, you know, I'm insane. Another pine cone. Uh, what? Move, please. Berry bush. D oh, sure. Just be closed then. While I'm still in here. Whatever. Guess I'll just sit around until day. Ah, uh, Josh, thank you for that epic. Uh, be right back screen sent on Discord. <laughs> It's actually pretty funny. Uh, I'm not going to pull it up on the stream. No, no, no. That's that's private information. But very funny. I've already got my own Be Right Back screen, though. Here, let me pull it up. See? Hold on. Nope, that's the wrong one. This is the one. Boom. See, look at that. It's so fancy that even the G in right gets cut off for some reason, and I can never figure out how to fix that. I need a serious, like, ugh, I don't know, better be right back. I mean, it's better than what it could be. Before, it was literally just a PNG of a text file that said be right back, and I would just put it up on over the screen, and you couldn't tell that it was moving and stuff. So it was hard to tell what was going on. And if the stream had just froze, or if, if it was actually going to be right back, or whatever... I'm talking too much again. Carrots? Uh, well, I have a lot of corn seeds. Pumpkin seeds. That's a birch nut. At least all these seeds are cheap, that's for sure. Berry bush? I need a total of eight berry bushes, so... Please give me berry bushes. Oh my god, dude. Well, I'll have plenty of rot waiting in here when I come back. Oh, I should pull up the chat again. Well, now you have two. Two what? I don't even remember what I was saying. It's probably... Probably something... Relevant. Oh, two b berry bushes? I have three right now, actually. Of two different variations. BRB screens. Oh, yeah, I do have two now, but no offense or anything. The one you made is very lame. <laughs> I mean, very cool. Thanks for the picture. Watermelon seeds. Why? Incorrect. No, I think that's a correct judgment of yours. Berry bush, thank you so much. I also love the little detail of how the signs change whenever you uh, buy something. Like, they change to match their price, so one oink, it just shows one oink on the sign, but then, like, if something costs more, like, ten oinks, it shows ten oinks on the sign. It's really cool little detail. Oh my god, do I have pomegranate? I do have pomegranate just on the ground. I am rolling in seeds. If I were Wormwood, this would be paradise right now. Berry bush. See, and look, that had two oinks on the sign because berry bushes cost two oinks. 
Okay, I have six. I'm very close to being done. Okay, watermelon. I've, I feel like I have a rainbow of seeds now. That's a birch nut. Berry bush. Okay, that's seven. Just one more berry bush is all I need, Grandma. Corn. More corn. Wow, isn't the pig economy just booming right now? I'm buying all of her seeds. Where's my pumpkin stack? There it is. Corn stack. I am running out of money, please. Do I... Oh, I do have a carrot stack. Alright, let's go. Carrot stack. Corn stack. Oh, yes! You're a savior. Thank you so much. I am broke. I will accept this poop. Thank you. I am not afraid to accept poop for what it is, which is poop. Ah, oh, finally, our first fogging. Also sounded like I was going to swear, but I was not. Are you broken? Are you broke fiscally or mentally? Depends on what the word fiscally means. Where? Why did those rocks bounce? Money wise. Oh, yes, I see. I understand. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. Okay, let's see. Where should I put the berries? Well, first, actually, you want to put down the lightning rod because that, that very reason is why you want to first put down the lightning rod. I mean, it didn't strike any of my stuff, but it very well could have. I don't know how centered that is. I hope it's centered enough. Let's just, let's just do this then. All right, and then we just put down these. Granted, remember, I got broke. Oh my God, thank you, Lightning Rod. I got broke specifically so I could make mad money later. It's like investing in stock. Wheeler is in fact a stockbroker. I think that's the term for it. I do not know. Please fertilize, 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 and fertilize. Yep. Oh, so that's how you're broke. Stockwise. Well, yeah, I guess that's what you want to call it. I don't have food. I have two oinks to buy food. That's... Not good. Okay, let's see if we can't invent a way to earn money. I think there were berry bushes right there. So if I can get those and then find enough nerd pigs before... Oh wait, it is dusk. Never mind. I'm just screwed. No, that's alright. I'm not hungry anyway. A wheeler can go another night without e eating. All right, uh, well, see ya, see ya, Josh. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to play Don't Starve. Oh, sweet, it stopped raining, thank you. Or, stopped fogging. All right, well, glad I could help. I might just get off here in, like, literally two seconds anyway, because, uh, I don't know, I'm not feeling okay. Not. I feel sick. But I wanted to try and make this a little longer. Uh, you know what? That's gonna be it for the stream today. Sorry, not feeling great. Uh, I will actually not delete this world. So I can come back to it, uh later right that's about 14 days that's pretty decent
pretty decent for one stream, but I won't delete this world, so I can come back to it at a later time. Tomorrow, maybe Friday. Whenever, whenever I get around to it, but yeah. Unlike the last Wheeler world, which just got deleted immediately, I'm sticking around with this one. Expect an actual continued saga stream, rather than some... Some, uh, some of my other Don't Starve streams, which always just end with disappointment rather than satisfying death. Yeah. This one will end in a satisfying death. Or at least a death. Eventually, just not today. So, look forward to part 16.5 or whatever I call it. I don't even remember what this, this one's called. Uh, yeah, see everyone later, hopefully.